art teacher here at Annalise Schools. And today I did a free form um, abstract art lab today with the children. And it involved three different separate projects. The first, which was tea bag paintings. And the, the children not only drank hibiscus tea, but then afterwards took the tea bag and put it on the paper to see what kind of images they saw and what images elicited through the forms after they put it on. Um, after they dried, they got a chance to draw it to see what came from their imagination. Um, the second thing we did was freeform sculptural project that involved pens and, and dowels and they got to arrange them um, and put them together and then take it apart and put it together again. This freeform also leads to just a certain amount of creative expression and freedom in the way that they um, go about their work, which I think is really important. Um, the last project was these gourds that I picked um, out in nature, and we talked about the form of them, and again, they could jump in and paint them however they wanted to, if they didn't want to paint them, if they wanted to do something else to them. Most of them chose um, to paint them, and that was also a free form, this whole idea of jumping into a project and really promote self-expression and a certain amount of freedom in what they're doing without too much direction. My name is Mr. Steve. I teach improv acting. That's acting. That's scenes that, that kids are making up on the fly. They're making up scenes as they go. For me, it is really a chance for them to build confidence through doing through uh, improvisation, obviously, and through this idea of getting up in front of their peers and not worrying about what people think, not worrying about impressions of them, and just taking a risk, taking a leap. So for me, uh, acting class is really a chance to help students build confidence, both in their skills as actors, but also just as humans who don't get into all of that, like I wonder what people think about me stuff, and are able to, to move through life, move through their day, making bold choices, being 100% themselves, or in this case, being other characters. Characters that are wild and weird allow them to act out different emotions that they might have or access different emotions they might have. Maybe a kid who uh, is holding a little bit of anger gets to play a character who's angry. Maybe even gets to play a character who's irrationally angry. Maybe a kid who uh, wants to be big and loud and a lot of times doesn't find themselves being that way in school gets a chance to be really big and loud and doesn't have to worry about it because they're in front of a supportive audience of their peers. So for me, the class is really about creating a supportive environment, creating an environment where people feel safe, and then using that environment to let them act out you know, their wildest ideas and big visions and crazy fantasies and, and uh, really, my job is more just to guide that and to make sure that it's a fun experience, an experience where they're able to learn a few things about uh, acting effectively, showing emotion through their face, through their body, through their tone of voice, all these different places. Uh, it's a lot of fun and we had a lot of fun today. Well, my name is Miss Elizabeth and I work here at Annalise's. I am the uh, handcraft teacher. And today I have, we're going to be making gifts, holiday gifts. So the children are going to be making a tie-dyed scarf for their uh, moms or um, some aunt or sister. And the, then we're going to be making, decorating a bag and a, to put soap in it for a dad or an uncle or a brother and the children will be decorating their bags with holiday themes, they're going to stitch the bags and as well the third gift that we're going to make is a herb sachet. So by doing these things uh, children are stitching, they're learning, they're working with their hands and they're learning to make something with love. You know you can go to the store and you can buy any amount of things but it hasn't got that ingredient of love in it. So while they are making those things, they're using their hands, they're using their minds, they're using, they're designing something. So it's a kind of a holistic thing that they're doing because they're using their intellect, their heart and their hands to create a beautiful gift for their family. My name is Isabel Corderans and I'm going to do a class about cubes. We're going to flatten the cube. So we'll start from a 3D cube, uh, analyze 
the parts and then break them apart and reorganize them, cutting them out out of uh, existing uh, pieces of books and then reorganizing them on other images to um, basically create new compositions. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon in brief. <laughs>